Uh, then the main event, Tam versus Mina. So there's stuff missing because of the because uh, of the obviously gap in down upload times. But from what I have pieced together on this whole thing of this build, from what people have said, is that um, Tam, that Ju- sorry, that my or sorry, Mina um, has like she won the white belt, and she and because she won the white belt, she wants the world. She challenge she she's open challenges Tam or open challenges, but like challenges Tam to a belt versus belt match, and she says uh in the build to it like. Yeah, and after I beat Tam, I'm going after Mayu. I want to be a triple crown champion. Um, so Tam on her end is like, hey man, you you asked for too much. I didn't ask you for a title match. You put your if you wanted a rebel match, I give it to you. But you you want throw yours on the line? All right, I ain't gonna turn down the title shot. And in the in the in the build to this, Tam said that uh that Mina is a fake Tam. You can't beat the fake, you can't beat you can't beat the root with the fake. Um, this match happens, bro. What about and, the part where Mina Shirakawa was like, "I dedicate this to my 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 father won't come to these matches, and like I will have an empty seat waiting for him," and then she fucking loses. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm well. Let me get through the match. Oh, and then you can say I, that. My, I thought yeah. that was part of that, the. That's how that's how you build the. You bad build up audio, to all that my stuff, bad. And then, yeah, yeah. So, um. Yeah, she she said that like her father is more or less a sh- shame, embarrassed, whatever you want to call it. That she's chosen this profession, um, and you know, like a lot of her inspiration comes from watching New Japan Pro Wrestling and watching, you know, being a huge fan of Liger, um, huge fan of Muda, obviously, and um, you know, obviously, you know, she's due to Romero special. She hasn't done it as much now. She's doing more of the figure four stuff and more of the Muda stuff and especially with like the, the, you know, the haberdashery she's been wearing of late, uh, the flashiness. Um, so, you know, they had her match in the out, outside on the floor. Um, Tam does the dive. She goes for more on the floor and uh, Mina gets her up and drops her and uh, drops her on the floor knees first. Oh, pulls up the, uh, the ring mats, drops her on the knees again. They end up, um, up on the ramp, top of the ramp, uh, and Mina goes to try to drop her knees first, drop Tam knees first onto the uh, the top of the ramp. Tam escapes and then hits her with the big back suplex onto the top of the ramp, in it back in the ring. And uh, Tam's in control. Mina fights her way back with big slaps and kicks, and uh, working on and then gets uh, Tam's leg and keeps working back on that leg. Tam can't do nothing with the leg. Uh, ex- excellent selling, um, and then. Like <sighs> Mina gets up Tam after working over her leg, gets after already having her in the long figure four lock and you know Tam off long chair. Mina gets Tam up, and you know, Mina had just established this new finisher, like the uh the basically her Mina driver, except like with the legs, the figure four Mina driver, where she crosses the legs and drops you. Um, after she you know tapped out, um Kamatani with, or I beat Kamatani with it, beat Nasplay with it. Her third title match, her third championship match involving this stuff, worked over the legs to perfection, like she, her game plan, like normally is. Goes to drop her with the figure, drop Tam with the figure four driver, and Tam kicks out. And then Mina wants to start crying. She almost breaks. She tries to get her back up to go for it again. Tam escapes. Tam uh, fights back. It ends up going to a, uh, a tie. Basically, it will fall to the ground to get back up. Um, Tam, then from there, beats her to the punch, gets meat on the ground, hits her with the bicycle, the big bicycle knee. That there's a meme of or a video meme of like watching NASA Poi's face reaction when she hits her with this, where like it almost she hit her so hard that like NASA Poi like short circuited, like she's like <laughs> tweak, she, she starts tweaking. Tam then gets Mina, gets her up. Hits her with the uh, hits her with the Nat Sapoy, uh big, big looping um, spin kick, then hits the uh, the Twilight Dream and the, I'm sorry, then hits the uh, uh, Violet Screwdriver, then hits the Twilight Dream and pins Mina in 17 minutes in a match that everyone thought was going to a 30 minute time limit draw. Um, 
I hate this match four and a quarter. Uh, I I thought this match was great. I do not like the idea of you have a baby face, bro. She's that like, people wanted. They had now. a great story, and then they beat her within a. They gave her one defense, and then they beat her within like forty days of her get, getting her conquering championship. That's fundamentally bad. It's fundamentally bad. I don't bro. care. I don't. I don't care what it means. I don't care what it means for Tam. I'm not talking about that. What they did was a bad idea. And like the way that this storyline has gone, where Mina shows up with uh at Sumo Hall on the 29th of, of December with uh Club Venus. She is still with Cosmic Angels and with them and looks and making these faces like she looks like she's emotionally you know, s- struggling with what she wants to do with being, you know, want to start on faction or just stay with Tam or just make it a subunit or whatever else for all these months, get to the week, the go home shows for Yokohama arena and then drop the bomb on Tam and break up cosmic angels six days before both of them are going into this, into the white belt and red belt title matches. They both win together and then immediately they fe- immediately feud with each other. And then 40 days later, it revolves, revolves, it has one of them lose the belt instead of building towards this over months. I don't, I don't get this. I was lost they shot, when I saw this. They shot half a year worth, three months, half a year worth of shit in the span of 40 days. This was way too fast. This was, this was, regardless of the general plan of we need to, you know, jolt the system with, or we fully need to jolt the system with like giving people magic that people think are going to result in time limit draws and then giving them actual finishes or we're going not going to have super long uh, title runs. Cool. You, you don't do this to somebody that was, Bro, she was getting in the over. middle of something. I don't want to say special in the middle of something really hot. I, I don't get that. Like she won the title in incredible fashion. Like she's been geeked out. This is like, um, like this is not good. Like, you know, she defended the belt once against Nazapoy and then drops it, and then it's like, yo, now what? Like, and then I heard right. it was like some type of thing. She was like, Yeah, you can rejoin Cosmic Angels as like the number four person or some shit like that after. I'm like, Yeah, is that yeah. really gonna happen? Like, I hope not. No, no, Jesus no, 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 no. She no no Tam no 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 Tam was just being a dick. Oh, okay. Because like she's still upset that like, okay, so from me's perspective, it was like, I love this woman. She's taught me everything. I don't become the wrestler I am without her because she's such a great leader. Um, but similar fashion to when Tam left Mayu, like, you can't be number you can't be number one while being number two. Someone's number two. You just can't do it, right? Plus, you throw in the stuff of like, I wanted to win these belts with I wanted to win the tag belts with Tam. Never happened. Uh she wins him immediately with Nasapoy. Clearly, like, I'm there's something wrong with me. I'm the problem. I need to look inward and like need to try to figure this stuff out on my own. Like, maybe I need to, you know, try the leadership route. Starts um cosmic ain't or sorry, starts a Club Venus, you know, becomes a, a you know, starts out, they start out hot, they're selling a bunch of merchandise. She wins a belt, it finishes the story from what happened when she got her face knocked out or her teeth knocked down her throat to to this. Great, great triumphant, great redemption story, right? Great story of like when she, you know, that promo she cut like after she got her teeth knocked out in front of the cameras, like I'm gonna come back from this and it, and like to prove that like I to prove the people that like like I am a wrestler and like there's hope, like because if I don't do this and I then I then I failed in everything I've tried to do for the last however many years, and then she does it and you're happy for her, and like she had a match with Nasapoy and like that match was great and like she won't we're going to just feed her you know consistently really good you know talent in the in these in these semi advances so she can handle it and that was the main event of that particular pay per view yeah man this just and, then they, like... and then they just for two weeks later after that just cut up like do it in in a vacuum do i want to see a tam mina 30 minute title match not really cuz i think at I think like the time they went is like that's the that's the best case scenario for both of them as far as maximizing what they what they can all do together, right? Because because so much of what Mina does is influenced by Tam, and what Tam is good at it's because the same thing that Mayu's really good at: get your ass beat to death, fight back like and scrap like crazy, and then make get into a tie ball game, and then so you're going down the final stretch, and anyone can win. That is it's just simple stuff they do, like 
a back and forth with them. Mayu can do that because Mayu's more talented and versatile than Tam and Mina are. Um, but like even Tam struggles at length to go have a back and forth match unless it's with someone that's like at the top of the card, like Julia, Shuri, or Mayu, or whatever mm-hmm. else. I, Mina, we're we're just now getting Mina to the point where it's like we can consistently have her with a game plan to stay, you know, ahead right. or be an under a underdog baby face that can beat anybody or also lose to anybody. And she was showing that like she could have 12, 15 minute matches and can have great matches. So like from that part is like you killed her character and also you like cut off her growth potential because of like what she had shown over this, this year. Yeah. Um, I, I just, I, I don't, they're up to something. I don't know what it is. Um, but I, I don't like, I don't, I didn't like this. I didn't like this for me at all. I didn't yeah. like this for me. It was the wrong. Side. Like, if you want to do the match eventually or whatever else and do, and then do the title change. Cool. Do it four months later, five months later, do it like, or do it like the first review after the grand prix, but 40 days. Yeah. Yeah. It, and it does. Yeah, I don't get it. And it was less than 40 it, days, but you know what I'm saying? It, like, it's like 40 too days, much, 30 some days. Is this too much for Tam now? Is this just like overkill? It's like, damn. I don't even what think about what's, I'm, I'm, not even, I'm not even thinking about what they're doing with Tam. Like, the only thing that comes to mind is like, she's retiring soon. And like, it almost, in, in a way, it almost feels like, well, I did not put her over at the time when she should have been put over. And she's always, and she's always been like basically employee of the month and done a million jobs for this, uh, a million like jobs like outside of like uh the ring stuff where she's like a secretary she does a voiceover for, for uh the we are starting recap show mm-hmm. she does everything for this company and was doing it for years and was selling merch and all that kind of stuff and we never valued that and like she was always top champion even though we never pushed her uh to the level of a julia or hoshiki or whoever else and she was more over these people and like now and now that like the clock seems like it's running out now it's like all right well let, let's you know you done everything we ever asked you for and we didn't appreciate you so let's now like heap all the stuff upon you now and it's like well cool but like tam's not so they're not so the, the official thing is this isn't like they're not combining the titles i would hope I not but like not, and, and then well, like you know well, the, the thing IWGP is you know nowadays in there like you know i i that's what i thought i was like man are they gonna do or is this white belt on the way out like no, no, no. So, like, so that's the that thing that people have road. concerns about. It's like, they don't, cause, because we're not in uncharted territory. It's like the company is kind of predictable as far as like what is the long term track of what these people are, or what, what who's gearing up for what, who's going to have their big triumphant moment. Now they're at a point where it's like, all right, we're kind of breaking this and make like, I guess the B and C pay per to feel more like anything can happen. Like, any, you know, you can see anything. Yeah. So they, um, Tam is. Tam has no intention of defending the red and white belt match or red and white belt in the same match. Like won't be a red belt match. Won't be a white belt match. Who knows how long she will be red or white belt champion, whatever. It doesn't matter, but she's not going to do that. Um, so remember like Mariah, she won the center of the tournament. She never decided on, never decided on who, what belt she was going after red or white after this match. And after Tam tells Mina, like, you know, um, if you want to come back, you can be the fourth, you were number four. You were number two. You were two, you were two A's, two B, depending on whoever was in that boy or Unagi. You come back to be number four now. Um, obviously, Mina goes off crying um, and says like she'll come back from this. Like uh, I have an idea what they could do, but whatever. Um, like they can obviously do a rematch down the line eventually and have Mina get the belt back from town. Um, whatever. But I, I don't really like. I don't really love that idea either. But whatever. Um, that's like put both belts on Tam. Killing. So, sorry. Like that's like a real like demolition of a character. Like of uh, like yo, why did they do that to them? I mean, then like the it's, dad it's, part it's, too. It's, like, it's real Dusty Rosian, isn't it? It's like yo, they they just they cut your legs off. Like like Mother they Joe. They killed momentum. They killed momentum. Yeah, you stupid Mother Joe. Um, <laughs> so Mariah comes out. Mariah challenges for the white belt. Um, that's going to be at the July, I think it's at the July pay-per-view. I think it's at the early July pay-per-view. Um, so I, from the Tam mean perspective of the build of it, Tam was like, Hey, I knew you were going to leave eventually. I didn't think you were going to leave like the week before our fucking title matches. Like I wanted to celebrate and all that kind of stuff together. 
this sucks. I feel betrayed. And then she started, you know, doing the, they were going back and forth, sniping each other. And then eventually what in that, in that meantime, Tam's burying her saying like, you're a fake Tam McConnell. And then she fucking beats her. And it's like, then she says, Hey, you know, um, if you want to, you can come back and be fourth. And then like, I guess today, right today. So that story, the thing you mentioned about how Mina, um, she wanted, she left a ticket for her dad to show up. I don't know where that her dad attended, but today I thought there I heard was, he did, and then she lost. Either way, it sucks. Showing up, not or, showing up. Either way, it sucks. Yes. Cause look, cause, cause look, where's this is still the third best match of Mina's career, singles match of Mina's career, whatever, right? So like, regardless, you got a great match. It's just it's a it's it's a it's a it's yeah. a head scratching slash heartbreaking loss. Uh. But, or not, but continuing on with this, right? Thinking about that, right? This is now that is the not part of the storyline. This is stuff you're following as a person in the fan. This is new, this is a new story that her dad showed up or left, or she left ticket for her dad to show up to this thing. Now that now that she's made it, right? <laughs> I think today or last night, uh, Tam did a uh, did Tokyo Sports article about how about how supportive her parents are and how uh her dad how her dad gave her the advice that when like when uh Mina and Sukiyama left that is like you know one of the one of the investing or one of the important things or one of the fulfilling things of like being a leader is that like when you also have people that you led become leaders themselves right so like I'm reading that and I'm re- thinking that I'm reading this with the con- under the context of like Mina dad may or may not have showed it to that show and then Tam, like, if they didn't, like, if we didn't know that they like each other in real life, then you'd be like, oh, she twisted the knife in kayfabe. Like, she's like, oh, your dad didn't show up? Well, my dad did. And that's why I, because I, have, I, have, a, I have a non-toxic, like, support structure around me. I'm like, oh, man, Tam is, Tam is really out here between what she did to Julie and what she did to, uh, what she's doing to me. Like, Sick. she is out here, like, acting like this is American pro wrestling and not Japan. Sick. <laughs> Wait, she being petty. It's awesome. The- this is the good guy, you know. Look, um, you know how that is when it comes to Japan. Every, both people are tweeners or whatever else, and you say mean things. She's a top champion. What you're rooting for is get people to, you know, for a title change. So she is pulling an Okada. She is turned. She is. How do I say this? She is saying things that a surly prick would say. So, and in that case, in this particular situation, it worked. Like. I look, I was hoping for a draw the whole time. And then once she got her up and hit her with the Vada screwdriver and then grabbed her immediately, I was like, oh, she's going to beat her. And then like she hit her with the she she hit her with the uh Twilight Dream. I was like, oh, she's not kicking out. She's gonna have two belts. She's the double champion. And I was like, this is so this is so weird. Like, cause they gave her that losing stretch from um from what? Uh when they lost the belts to net to um uh, to seven up at Sumo Hall, she got beat inside of six minutes at at the Tokyo Dome. Um, they lost the first match in Triangle Derby, and then like from there, she they basically won everything up until they got to the block final of Triangle Derby and lost. And then she, you know, she's winning her matches, whatever else the 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 uh, the people cycle out. She uh, she wins the red belt. Um, she wins matches. She wins matches all the time now because obviously she's in, she has three, you know, she has a three person faction. That's all three good wrestlers that are pushed, and like now she's a two. She's like seemingly out of nowhere. She's the double champ. She, she's she's now like so now that she won the white belt again, she is now the uh, third person to ever. I'm sorry, the fourth person to ever hold the white belt twice. Ak Ak Yazakawa. Um, Io Shirai and Mayu Watani. She is now, uh, or she was already when she won the red belt, she became the fifth person to ever hold the red and white belt. Uh, Io Shirai, Mayu Watani, Kairi Hojo, um, and Julia and her. And um, now she's the second person to ever hold the red and white belt at the same time. The only other person to ever do that was uh, Mayu in 2017, and she didn't hold those two belts for long. like I think like she lost her. I think she lost like the white belt like a month after she won both or, or won the the red belt. So um, I don't think this is a long term thing. I think that like she's. I think that Mariah's getting the white belt. 
And I'm just like, okay, so like, if that's the case, then what is she I'm thinking about is like red bill. Like that's like, what are you doing? That's like you got her a money logic, in the bank her, briefcase and you want the fucking U.S. Yeah. belt. Like <laughs> her logic, her logic was, I have, I'm young, I still have plenty of years in me, and then Tam was like, that's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what Tam was like. That's dumb. I agree. That's dumb and that's dumb and egotistical, and and your humor is gonna come and bite you. That you would think you have all these years of just compete. Like I am. Yeah, don't Tam you McConnell. know this is Joshi? Yeah, don't you know this is Joshi? Don't you know that this approach where if you are underdog baby face, that you will be chasing that motherfucker for years and years and years, and then you might finally get it, or you don't, or you get hurt and you leave. Uh yeah, so 